Okay, I'm going to just follow this uh, step by step to get this into the Mac, and we'll show you how that goes. So, first, presuming you've already shot your video, just fire the unit up, and then you'll connect your USB cable. One handed is going to turn out to be trickier than I thought. Okay, now I've got that connected up, and you want to go for USB connect. And it will say on the screen, mass storage connected, do not unplug, yada, 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 like that. Then it will come up on your Mac. Personally, I don't like using iPhoto. So the first thing I end up doing, because I just think it's a little more difficult to use than it needs to be. I quit that. Go into the no name folder. There will be two folders populated on here. You see the PMD and the no name. Okay, after both drives have populated on the, uh, the desktop. Go ahead and double click on the no name. You got your ADC HD file. Double click on that and it'll bring up a window with a bunch of your individual files in them. So you'll find the ones that you like or the ones that you um, know that you're going to need to export. So I'm going to grab this guy here because I can recognize the position he's in. But double click on that. So it opens up that file, and you can tell you've got the correct one based on the amount of time that's in that file. And I'm going to go down to Export. I'm going to do 1080. You know, you could do it for lower if you wanted to, or if you had a time crunch or whatever, but you don't have to. Come on. There we go. All right, and so I'm going to call that guy number five. We'll go with guy five for short. Save that. And it will at this point export that file to an MOV. Okay, so the file just finished. Get that out of my quick time. And then you can see my guy five file is right here on the desktop. And from that point you can email it or whatever you're gonna do and send it off to uh, whoever's working in the group that requires it.